Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. I am Robert Storms. As always, if you're finding me for the very first time, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Please, that's really important if you guys can hit that subscribe button. So today I want to talk about COPPA and what that is, is the Children Online Privacy Protective Act. Now, I did a video on this previously a few days ago and I talked about how I'm thinking about quitting YouTube because of what this is going to be and what this means to me and other YouTube creators. Now, since then, I have had a few other people reach out to me like, Rob, this is not going to affect you because you can simply just click, no, my content is not for children. And that's sort of the problem. This is the misconception that people are having with this whole YouTube COPPA, this Children Online Privacy Protective Act. There's a common misconception, and we don't know all the fine details as of now. There's tons of videos on it, tons of articles, but no one is really in an agreement of what this is and what this is going to do to YouTube creators like myself. Now, you look at it, you say, yes, clearly my content is not for children because I say fuck all the fucking time. So clearly my videos is not for children. However, there are a series of topics and content that is listed under for children. So let's say if I went and saw Finding Nemo Part 5 and I did a review on it. Well, guess what? If someone from the FTC or some other government head found my video and go, well, he clicked not for children, but he's doing a review for Finding Nemo Part 5, this is clearly directed toward children. We are slapping him with a $42,000 fine. If I hit yes, my video content is for children, I'm not going to get any revenue. I'm not going to get all the good ads. If I click, you know, simply, hey, right now my, my content's not for children. But guess what? If someone comes in and goes, well, Avengers 6 is for children or Spider-Man 10 is for children. And, and you're talking about Superman this and Batman that. These are all related to our children. And you are clearly not, not clicking for children just so you can get more revenue. Here's a $42,000 fine. But clearly what I am talking about in my videos is just pop culture talk that's what i do i focus around your marvel your dc your star wars you know anything that is in the movie and nerd atmosphere is what i talk about on my channel if i want to talk about godzilla versus king kong being delayed until november i'm gonna talk about that because that's part of our geek culture that is what i do on my channel if i want to talk about michael b jordan meeting up with wb about possibly playing superman i talk about that on my channel but if someone from the ftc or some other government official who has absolutely no idea how internet works how youtube works how podcasting works and how youtube creating content works i can be slapped up to forty two thousand dollars per violation now guys i'm a very small youtube channel and I don't have $42,000. Let's be real. I don't have $2,000. I cannot afford to do that. And I said in my video, I am thinking about quitting to go maybe to Twitch, maybe just a different, maybe just quitting altogether. Maybe just quitting altogether. Because at the end of the day, I, I spent so much hard work trying to build this channel to start over is going to be really almost an impossible task and I don't think I can do it. I, I just don't think I can do it. I have a lot of friends that does YouTube and this is going to affect a lot of people. If you do toy reviews, it's gonna affect you. If you do anime reviews, it's going to affect you. If you are a YouTube creator that you are doing videos on this type of topics, this type of culture is going to affect you. And this is bad, this is bad because I think the people running this this operation the, whether it be youtube the government whoever has no idea how this stuff works they have no idea how any of this works i don't see why it's impossible for youtube just to have a necessary mandatory sign in for youtube right now you don't have to be signed in you can watch anything you want on youtube but if you have a mandatory sign in where you have to put in and verify someone's age if they are under 13 they cannot watch anything that is not directed towards someone that way you don't have to worry about like little jimmy or tina coming up across you know hookers stripping on the street or something like that that you can because there's some there's the dark side of youtube that's right baby dance for me 
I got a lot of money to spend. And I fully understand where a lot of you guys are coming from. I'm like, Rob, your, your channel's gonna be fine. You're gonna hit all these bigger channels first. But you ever hear the term, shit rolls downhill? It affects the top people first, and then rolls downhill. Okay, if you guys have ever worked anywhere in your life, you know if your manager is getting chewed out by like the owner, that manager is going to chew out the manager, the assistant manager, the assistant manager is going to chew out the support manager, and the support manager is then going to chew out everybody underneath them. Shit rolls down hill guys so guess what the government's coming down on youtube youtube is going to start coming down on all the content creators and it's just going to roll downhill yes these bigger channels are going to get hit first but what affects one affects the other so as of right now a lot of people have been asking me what my plans are moving forward well until january 1st it's going to be business as usual i'm going to continue to do my videos daily continue doing my live streams at night and i'm going to continue making stuff as if nothing changed the the policy will drop on January 1st of 2020 and I will test the waters I will dip my toe in the water see how it is and I will play it by ear if it gets to the point where I absolutely have to leave YouTube and if maybe if I do have to create another account somewhere else then I will go ahead and do the necessary steps if that's the case because YouTube is important to me YouTube is my outlet to escape you know when I'm having a bad day I can get in front of YouTube in front of the camera and talk to each and every one of you guys. I love meeting you guys at conventions. I love talking to you guys online. You guys are basically my therapist. You know, when I'm having a shitty day, you guys are the ones there to listen. Even when you guys don't necessarily agree with my opinion, you guys are still there to listen. So I love YouTube. I love each and every one of you guys. And hopefully, hopefully this time next year, I'll still be around. But I want to know what you guys think about the whole Copa app. Be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. And once again, guys, please hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, as always, I am Robert Storms, and that is my opinion.